Hi, my name is Dean Norton, I'm Director of Horticulture here at George Washington's Mount Vernon and I'm, I'm kneeling here next to all that's left of a historic tree on our grounds. This was a, a Canadian hemlock that was planted around 1791 under the direction of George Washington. There's a lot of great history about this tree. Um, Washington was interested in getting uh, hemlock, hemlock seed. Uh, they didn't grow in this general region so he had written to Governor Clinton in New York in December of 1784 and also in April of 1785 requesting seed and really any other sorts of trees that he may be able to send him seed of that didn't grow in this general area. Uh, we don't have any reference uh, or we can't find any indication that they ever received but what we do know is that Benjamin, uh, General Benjamin Lincoln of Massachusetts actually sent Washington two hemlocks that were in half barrels and they were received in July, on July 6, 1785. And then on July 13th, Washington says that he, he transplanted those trees out of the barrels outside the garden gates next to the walks. So it's pretty good uh, reference that this, this hemlock here is one of those two trees. And it's always sad when you lose a tree like this. I mean, this is a living witness to the life and times of George Washington. Unfortunately, it was uh, just twisted and broke, broke off in this amazing storm that we had on Friday. The winds gusting up to 60 miles an hour, and um, and it and it just just fell over. Um, you hate to see it, uh, but it happens. And um, anyway, the wood from the tree uh, has been collected and will be held here at uh, Mount Vernon. It will be used for preservation purposes and other special projects. Uh, so, so understand that the wood will be put to good use and as I said, you hate to see one of these beautiful trees go but um, it happens and we will just replant and move on.